All right, welcome back. It's me, the human Mr. Mime. <laughs> so I think that's supposed to be a Pikachu, right? Do you see it? I see it. Yeah, I see it. Okay. I, I could see Pikachu in that. I could also see Mew. Ah, I, um, I can see that too, yeah. Uh, and uh, that cat thing. Meow. But just its bust from Gen uh, 5. Mimikyu? Yeah, that one. The one that looks like Pikachu. <laughs> no, I was, I'm, I'm talking the, like, not Persian. It's like the, the dark cat type from Gen Oh, five. that one. It's like yes, purple. Yes, yes, I can yes, see yes. it if it was just, like, the top torso, and then the rest of it behind it was, like, just extra clay he was going to use later. <laughs> wow, that made the screen dark for 20 seconds. The 20 fuck was that? 20 seconds. <laughs> the fuck that was, was that? haze, Chris. I don't know what had happened. Oh, interesting. Yeah, fucking, uh... I love coughing, but at the same time, it's really dumb. Coughing! I do love, I love the evolve form, because he's got top hats now. He's got a top hat. That is pretty sweet. Does the, does there, uh, does there, is there a normal version of coughing that isn't, well, I mean, is there a cough hat version of coughing for its first form, or does it just... Just the second form. That seems like lazy writing it on is, Game It is start. very sad to me. It is very sad to me. I was very upset when I found out that they did not have a... Oh, he just dropped his masterpiece. Wow. You, you literally crushed his soul. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, dark. Did. It's, that was dark. <laughs> it was dark, even for us. <laughs> Destroyer of souls. Destroyer of all souls. The soul taker. I'm the soul taker, Sora. <laughs> I buy him up and I never use him. <laughs> We're I just want to make sure Sora. I just want to make sure I own everything, because even if I don't have plans for it. Because fuck you, I love money. Mm. Nobody should have competition with me, Sora, because I have the power of capitalism. <laughs> We're not a monopoly if all our companies that are fighting us fold on their own. <laughs> because we bought them out, Sora. We bought them out. And fuck you for thinking otherwise. It's funny, uh, I was watching this guy's video that was explaining that, like, all the wor all of the world's media, especially in the U.S., or, like, like 99% of all the world's media is controlled by five studios. Yes. And that he's like, and one of those studios just got bought by one of the other studios. Everyone don't sleep well tonight with that information. Uh, <laughs> I just had a shiver go down my spine for me <laughs> saying that, to be honest. <laughs> Like, I heard that, and I was just like, well, yeah, that We're is fucked. indeed how it works. We're actually fucked. <laughs> yes. The power of capitalism, Sora. Yeah, he was explaining, like, the format words between uh, HD, DVD, and Blu-ray. Yeah. And how Blu-ray won out okay, because one of the, the, the bird studios fossil, was like, fuck it. The dino fossil. And we'll put those together. It'd and make, make an a Pokemon. abomination. No, yes. An abomination, Derek. Which one is it? Is it Dracovich or Dracovach? It depends on which oh, order Octobotch. you gave. It depends on which order you gave them into her in. Unfortunately, I don't have the other two pieces, so I can't make something else. I'm fucking cold. So, did you know the reason for this these Pokemon existing is because when Britain initially discovered fossils, they were like, "Yo, what the fuck are these?" And they just kind of like threw fossils together, and they were like, "That's a dinosaur." Yeah. 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 It's pretty cool. I like that information. I mean, it sure is hard to tell when you don't know what the fuck you've dug up is. Exactly. <laughs> That's the power of capitalism, Sora. I don't think capitalism applies to dinosaur bones. Exactly. <laughs> I overphrase that. That's the power of the good old, uh... It applies to more to their skin and yes. decayed, uh, liquidness. Well, no, that, Chris, that has to apply to, uh, what's it called? Oh, God, that kid's gonna get abducted by that thing. It's gonna. I was just thinking that. It's. It has to do with you know the glory and the gloriness of the British Empire. Ah yes, the British Empire, the strongest of empires that will never ever be defeated. Oh wait, <laughs> until we came around. God bless America. <laughs> America. The power of America. Hey man, just remember, Derek, if you ever feel useless, like you can't do anything and that your job is completely pointless, just remember, the lifeguard, there's a mandatory lifeguard at the Olympic swimming pools. I saw that. <laughs> I laughed my fucking ass off about it. I love that because of how true that is. 
I absolutely loved that. I laughed my ass off. I was telling that to somebody, and they were like, what? Are you serious? I'm like, yeah. For safety. Yes. So, oh, so, okay, so the Olympics are going on, right? They won't be Fuck when this it. airs. Yeah, not when this airs. It'll be over by then. But I was just watching, I was watching the marathon uh, swimming competition, because yes. they do a marathon swim, where they literally just swim around in the ocean for, like, a long time. Holy shit. Um, yeah, it's pretty metal. Uh, but what's interesting Hashtag to me is that, like, they have, like, boats following them the whole time. Yeah, that's in case someone starts drowning yes. and they have other people to go rescue them. Yes, but it's also, at, at certain points, there's, like, docks, and those docks literally hand them water bottles on giant poles with their flags on them, so no one grabs the wrong water bottle. I love that. <laughs> and you're literally watching them drink the water bottle, they're, like, backstroking so they can drink and swim at the yeah, same time. Yeah, they can time. drink, like, not salt water. Yeah. And it's so funny to me, because when they finish drinking, in any marathon, when they finish drinking, they have boxes where you're supposed to throw it. They never hit the boxes. They always just throw them right on the fucking concrete yeah. and go. They do the same thing in the water. They'll finish drinking them, and they'll just hock them over their shoulder, like, into the ocean. Yeah. And I'm just like, no wonder we have pollution. What the fuck? No wonder, <laughs> no wonder there's an island in the middle of the ocean, in, in the middle of both oceans the size of Texas. I know. I, I know they clean them up afterwards. But it's just funny to me to just watch them just yeet these fucking yeet. water bottles out of the way. Hey, Chris, can I interest you in some yeets? <laughs> yeets, my D. Oh my god, I love it. My bird is superior to your bird. Yeah, his bird can come back with a Pikachu or a fish in its mouth. The Pikachu has a chance to stun. Yeah, that's probably the coolest thing about this Pokemon. Yep. Yeah. They have the sick Pokemon in the Pokemon Mobile game. MOBA. Pokemon MOBA game. It's called Pokemon There's Unite. There's one Pokemon Mobile game back. Yes. And it's called Pokemon, Pokemon Go. Go. And then there's a second Pokemon Mobile game, and that's called Waifu Simulator Catch 'em All. I think it's called, like, Master League yes, or some shit. Is. Whatever the fuck it is. All I know is that that game solely exists for people to collect female Pokemon trainers and nothing else. I don't know what you're talking about. Is it going to come back with a fish or a Pikachu? It's yeah, came back with a Pikachu. Pikachu. It's going to die, though, before it gets its chance to attack. See, now, if only they put this much effort into all the Pokemon. Oh, Wouldn't but he gets to spit it at me. Psst. Wait, even when he dies? Yep, and this now I'm is, paralyzed. This thing's pretty good, though. It's, this is a really good Pokemon. It's like a tank Pokemon you want to use it as. Yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe at some point I should go back on Pokemon Showdown and see if there's any teams I can make and play again because i have not played since gen five. five yeah gen five was the last time i played pokemon showdown <laughs> i bet a lot of the tiers have been switched up and oh yeah no they're, they're still shit. constantly changing too that's yeah. the interesting thing i only play in the lowest league besides the mini cup one the one where they don't play fully evolved pokemon that league is dumb <laughs> I'll play the one that lets you use fully ones, but only the really shit ones. That that league is fun to play in. I think it's. I think. Uh, God, is it N never used? Yeah, NU? never. Yeah, never used. NU, I, I believe. Yeah, I believe it's never used. And you. Oh, dude! I know about critical hits and type matchups. Wow, I'm so. <laughs> also, I love that we were in a street. We were in the city earlier doing the battle, mm -hmm. but now we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Well, yeah, that's because this is a. Uh... This is a good society. <laughs> Well, that's because in between the transition and you battling him, there was a, a huge apocalyptic nightmare. Ah, okay. That took that took control of the uh, the Earth's population, and destroyed all grass. Ah, yes. Just specifically grass. Like though. you do. <laughs> and he uses this thing, the thing that is totally a disaster on the native environment of everything here. <laughs> Toxic. Yes. Okay, is this thing lightning, by the way? It lightning is electric poison? poison yes. Okay, I, I was curious about that. His team is just obnoxious, then. Yes. His team is all just stun and poison and, like, nothing else. Dude, see, he he's 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 uh, the worst rival, but he's also not a bad rival. No, he's, he's still the worst. He's just more annoying in my one-shotting his entire team. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, he's just making me take more time to one-shot him to death. Yeah, so he's actually... The thing that about him is... His team actually, like, changes depending on when you fight him. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, oh, cool. He's, like, trying different strategies like a real Pokemon trainer would. Instead of a, here's my team, it gets strikely stronger. 
I mean, he's, he's a better rival than our last rival in Sun and Moon. Hey, man, that's what they said about Gen 5. and I mean, uh, that's what they said about Gen 1, but that dude's team was pretty OP by the end. Well, dude, that's because Gary is our boy. Gary's our boy. He was strong enough to become a gym leader. He wanted to be the champion, but well, this fucker named Red just swooped in and stole that shit. What I love is he did become the gym... He, he did become champion. Yes, but, but it wasn't officially registered. I, I love bringing that up to people. But he didn't get actually registered, which yeah. would suck. It's, I would be so <laughs> pissed about that. It's, it's super funny to me because I was, I was telling someone about that. I was just like, actually, we're the bad guys in that game. And he's like, what do you mean? I'm like, dude, Gary literally beats everything before us. Like, we're his rival. He shows up before we're there, does everything we want to do before we do it, <laughs> becomes gym champion before us, and then we fight him because he's the new gym champion, the new uh, league champion, and we just take his place before he gets registered officially as the champion. Like, we're the bad guy. <laughs> oh, dude, it's so bad. It's just like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> oh. Yes. oh. Dude, we got base. Weed card. She just gave us it. No, we got Opal's weed card. Now we're getting Bay's weed card. Oh, okay. Let's go look at I Bay's was, weed card. I was card. confused. I was confused. Let's look at let's look at Bay's weed card. Cause uh, why not? She is a ba badass. Ba Where's Bay? Where's Bay? There's Bay. Nice. Bay. She's uh. Nice. She's got special attention from her parents. She trained hard with her Pokemon Pokemon okay, board. I was gonna say, I'm like, are you really gonna read this, Mr. I don't wanna read the actual fucking game? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's like... Uh, why do things that you could do when you can be lazy? <laughs> My People are like, you're so good at things. And I'm just like, no, I'm not. Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. But, Chris, I always I want you to know this. Don't ever half-ass two things. Whole-ass one thing. Fair enough. That's from uh, Parks and Rec, from uh, Ron Swanson. A character I think you would love. Well, it is Ron Swanson, so. He's, he's the best character from that fucking show. He's the best character in everything he's in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even shows where he's playing a different character. Yeah, exactly. Peter. Peter. I can't, I wish I could do his voice. I just can't do it, but I really wish I could. Oh. <gasps> Fancy. I, uh, this is the coolest area in this whole game. So, did you want me to catch one of these muscle guys? I mean... He evolves into that weird muscly thing. We can catch him. I, I'm not really interested in running okay, one, cool. though. I do like that he turns into this weird muscle monster, man. <laughs> yes. You thought I was an imp, but really I am a pimp! <laughs> yes. That was fucking amazing, Chris. <laughs> Thank you, I know. I do try sometimes. He's a dark fairy, if my memory serves right, so Aerial Ace. I think he's one of the better fairy types that were added in the game that isn't just a fucking reskin of a character that wasn't already, that wasn't How fairy in the first place. How dare you, Chris? They only added, they didn't add or change anything. They only had original ideas with fairy Pokemon. Yeah, that's why there's so many... Old Pokemon Old that are, Pokemon fairy, types that are now. fairy types now, obviously. What I, I do like that they changed some Pokemon to fairy types that it makes more sense for them being fairy types. Like Jigglypuff's a fairy type, Clefairy's yeah. a Jigglypuff type. Yeah. But there are some Pokemon that I'm like, why? Yeah. Which, one of them, that it's that Bulldog Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with I that one. I was just like, but why? Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, sweet, that's that's a cool Pokemon would, and all, but... See, I assumed it was why? to make him better, but he was already pretty trash. Yeah. And doing this didn't make him any less trash. So, what I think, I honestly, they made a lot of, like, Pokemon that were trash. Still trash, but <laughs> now they have a... <laughs> Still trash, but with new typing. Yeah, but with new typing. And new moves. To which I was just like, that doesn't really do anything. Th this does nothing for me. This does nothing for me. <sighs> But they made Garnivar a fairy type. That's probably that the best she, Pokemon. That, that didn't need it because she was already an absurdly powerful psychic type. Yeah. 
and they just made her a fairy and a psychic mm-hmm. type. So now it is an unstoppable destroying monster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Because psychic type was already disgusting, and then you added fairy on type of it, and anything that's weak against fairy is now going to instantly die from that thing. And they also gave it a mega because fuck you. Yeah, honestly. But it is a fan favorite, so I get why. Yeah, honestly. I mean, I know it's a fan favorite. I've seen Rule 34. I know it's popular. <laughs> I know where the internet lives. I know what the internet does in its spare time. <laughs> I was going to say, it doesn't help that her generation, then I remember no, it was the second generation that essentially established humans and Pokemon used to fuck each other. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, well, thank you, Game Freak. I'm so happy for this information. <laughs> uh, I know that's in the. I forget where that's in the. I know it's, it's in the. In it's in the library in Gen Four. Uh, I think it's the one in the, the one that has the bridges and the boats. Yes. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. I can't wait for that. Remake Back so in time, there was no so, distinction between humans and Pokemon. Me, what? <laughs> humans and Pokemon used to be able to marry each other. Excuse who the fuck is writing these? <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, about that. See, the thing, though, about that, because I was thinking about that, and I was like, yo, that makes sense, though. Because if Pokemon and humans could be in relationships back in the day, and they could breed, that would explain human-like Pokemon. All the human-shaped Pokemon would be breads of Pokemon I don't like this. (laughs) It makes too much sense. Yeah, I was like, wait, that actually makes sense, and I hate it more now. Thank you, brain. Uh... Uh... (laughs) Okay, uh, I know we can do this, but Cub Fu is right at the level where we can evolve it. Alright, well, we only have, uh, ten minutes, so... Well, we can't do the gym either. Choose wisely. We can't do the gym in ten minutes either, so I'm just gonna go here, get a level, and, uh, I think I can do that in ten minutes. I believe you, and I have no reason not to believe you. Because you don't know anything about it. I love saying that to people who are trying to reassure me that what they're telling me is true. Yes. And it's like, <laughs> they're just like, no, seriously. And I'm just like, dude, I believe you and have no reason not to. Which never gives them the encouragement they need that I believe them. They're just like, uh, I don't know if he's fucking with me or what. <laughs> it's... Because normally people who are just like, yeah, I believe you. And that's where it ends. I love adding the extra caveat of, and, and I have no, no reason, reason not, not to. to. <laughs> and they're like, uh, what? It's so fucking stupid. I love it. It's just like, it was like the quickest way to take all confidence out of someone's sale. Yeah. Like, wait, oh, is yeah. it really? <laughs> is it really? What's going on here? My favorite is when they then immediately followed up with, no, seriously, I'm telling you the truth. And I go, yeah, I know. I, I told you. I believe you. <laughs> it's like, uh, are you fucking just being an asshole or what's going on here? <laughs> At that point, normally they just give up on the fucking run through their brain and just start telling me it. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, no, it's, it's great. Like, at that point, they just give up. They're like, you know what? I don't care if he actually believes me or not. I'm still telling I'm still him the telling story. The story. <laughs> it's like, <coughs> he used knockoff. He thought you were, you know, being too much of a little shit. So he's knocking <laughs> you off your game. <laughs> oh, this thing really doesn't want to get in the ball. <laughs> oh, dude, it's using a scary face. Look at it. it is you gotta, you gotta face. give it, a, you gotta give it a little love tap. You know what I mean? Just I would, a little bit of a love die, tap. Like a love tap. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of a love tap. A little more of a love tap. You know, just a just tiny a little, just a little poke. Just a little poke. You don't even put the head in. You just a little bit of a poke. <laughs> Stop. Funny that. to Derek, not funny to the audience. Uh. <laughs> uh. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Do I just kill it at this point? I mean, well, if you confusing. don't, it's gonna run away. <laughs> All right, you're right. Oh no, wait! I've been playing too much Pokemon Go. <laughs> I switch it to one Ultra Ball, and now it's gonna get caught. <laughs> you know what's like? You know what's funny about Pokemon Go? Because I was thinking about it not too re- not too long ago. I was like, you know what Pokemon Go really is? It's the fucking Safari Zone. Oh fuck! 
Like, You're right. all you can do is throw Pokeballs at shit and hope it gets in the ball. You're right. Like, that's it. You can't battle or weaken it. You just you throw Pokeballs at it and just hope to God. Yeah, I didn't even think about it like that. Yeah. <laughs> the world is your Savari zone. Dude, why didn't they just use that? Why didn't they hire you as a marketing person? I know, I should have fucking... Because they had a much better marketing slogan. Which was? Pokemon Go. Oh, yes. Anywhere. Yes, you're right. <laughs> How could I be <laughs> mistaken? And they had one of the greatest endorsements of all time. Hillary Clinton's Go to the Polls. <laughs> this is like... This is, what, five years old now? This stupid fucking Forgot quote. that. She literally managed... She's like, oh, what we need to do is... It's, we gotta get these people who made Pokemon Go to Use. make Pokemon Go to the Polls. And I'm like, oh my god... And she wonders why she lost. I don't understand. <laughs> because uh, it was all a corrupt system, and they saw Donald Trump as an outside man. It was just like, I'm just like, I'm sorry, you can't be that cringy and not lose votes. It's just not possible. <laughs> Chris, we just need to have Pokemon go to the polls. <laughs> Pokemon huh. go to the polls. Oh my god, one of my buddies in college, who was like, on, who was on her side, he wanted her to win, was like constantly ripping into her on that. Like, every minute he got the chance, he would quote her. <laughs> well, Chris, we just need a Pokemon go to the polls. And I was like, man. When the people that actually like you are criticizing yeah. you like that. that was like, I'm like, you can't be that cringy and expect things to work out. It's just... <laughs> like, you gotta lose votes, man. It's just, <laughs> it's just how it is. It's just how it is. When you're that cringy, you're gonna lose votes. Cringe level is a huge determining factor in voting nowadays. We live in meme culture now. You gotta take that into a factor. Oh, <laughs> when you KO a Kangaskhan, the baby turns around and hugs it because it's just lost its mother. That's whatever, man. It's oh. just gonna become a Q-bone. That's Q. <laughs> I, I didn't, I never noticed that. But that's probably because I don't ever run a Kangaskhan and it never dies. Dude, you should. Kangaskhan, OP. Yeah. It was when it had the mega form and it yeah. had double KO things and everything. Dude, the only way you could get Kangaskhan in Pokemon Go in less of a special event was Australia. What? Yeah. For, like, a really long time. I don't know if that's still the case. I hope it's not. Because <laughs> I don't have one yet and I need one still. I didn't know that. In all fairness, America, uh, you can only get Tauros as in North America. Oh, I know that either. Yeah. So I guess this is en encourages people to travel the world to get all the different Pokemons. Yeah. You know, on their shoestring budget. Yeah. Because they're playing Pokemon Go and giving it all their money. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon Go is actually a really easy game to play for free. Yeah, but you just still. play it every day. Yeah. Oh, it's not even... You don't even really need to play it every day. You literally just... Um, like, you can hit a Pokestop as much as you want. As long as it refresh... It, it just takes, like... 10 minutes to refresh or 5 minutes to refresh but you can just keep spinning it forever and it will just always give you items like <laughs> as long as you're willing to sit there and spin it it will just give you items forever I mistaken the time Chris it, I oh, couldn't do dude, it dude you took too long I could, took too and long now we to have, kill those 3 Pokemon we have like almost a full 2 minutes to burn Derek what are you going to do with yourself kill this thing oh okay well that works out then uh, oh, it's the poison fire thing that it only that evolves, evolves into a, a that evolves into an only female lizard thing that yep. the furry community had too much fun with. A little too much fun, if you ask me. <laughs> Who am I kidding? That's every Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> yes. And now Kapu is dead. I was saying that to Trevor. I'm like, no, there's different categories of furry. There's a specific category of furry just for Pokemon. Yeah, I don't like to think about it either. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's too real. It's too fucking real. I'm like, there's furries that wear fursuits, there's furries that only like the cartoons, there's furries that like the actual animals. We also call them bestiality people, but that's fine. Dude, <laughs> I don't even know, man. I don't even know. It's so weird to me. There's some people that don't get off to it, and then there's some people that do get off to it. It's very complicated. You don't want to hear the whole spiel, mainly because you want to blow your brains out by the end of it. <laughs> it's never so black and white. I'm like, why is Fury Cutter Fury text always missing? And I'm like, oh, it's because it doesn't have an accuracy of 100. 
85. If it's not 100% accurate, Chris, yeah. it's 30% yeah. accurate. Yep. <laughs> that is 100% true. It, it, I don't, it's something along that line. We're it's 100% really of the time, 30% of the time. <laughs> hey, Chris, did you, you know how you were just talking about the one that's, uh, mm-hmm. the one, the female thing that always makes people go crazy? Yeah. Well, here it is. Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we'll see you guys we'll in the next, see you next part. Time. Peace.